In this video, I'm going to show you how I created this vintage-inspired spring makeup look. Remember, makeup is not a tool meant to make an ugly thing beautiful. It's meant to magnify the beauty that already exists. You are beautiful. I start by applying an oil-free moisturiser all over my face and neck. Then I apply primer to smooth out my skin. As my skin was clear, I decided to use this BB cream instead of a foundation. I tend to have dark circles under my eyes, as well as some very slight redness around my nose chin and upper lip area. Here's how I concealed those dark patches and red areas in order to make all of my face become just one colour. I started out with a really light concealer as a sort of base. Then I went over it with a darker coloured concealer. The darker colour concealer is the one which actually hides the dark patches and the redness. This is the first time I had ever tried contouring. I thought I'd just stick with contouring my nose since contouring just seems really difficult. So please bear with me if I'm doing this completely the wrong way. As you can see my skin tone is starting to look pretty even throughout but now it's time to blend all that concealer. Then I set it all into place using my Bare Minerals powder foundation. I absolutely love this stuff because it gives a really lightweight natural looking finish. As I didn't wear any eyeshadow with this look, I started out with my mascara. Remember, mix different types of mascara together for fuller, longer lashes. And don't forget to put mascara on the lashes which are at the very corner of your eye. This will make all the difference. After I apply 
applied the mascara, I applied liquid eyeliner. I like really thin brushes because it makes it easier to control the thickness of the line. I apply the eyeliner as close to my lash line as possible, making sure that I get the eyeliner all the way across my eye from corner to corner. Wearing eyeliner can help make your lashes look fuller. I'm just going to thicken that line because I want a slightly more dramatic effect. I'm also going to add a little bit of a wing to make my eye look slightly bigger and also to create a very slight cat eye illusion. If you look at the eye that has the eyeliner and the eye that doesn't, you can see a really big difference between the two eyes. And now I'm just going to do the same to my other eye. In order to help the eyeliner dry just a little bit quicker, I decided to use a fan. The first thing I did was outline my lips using this red lip liner. I don't have symmetrical lips, so this can be a little bit tricky. I know this is going to look really strange, but please bear with me. I made this work. As you can see, the lipstick and the lip liner do not match, and most makeup artists will tell you that that's a big no-no, but I made this work by blending the lip liner in with the lipstick so it all became just one colour. Now I know you're also not supposed to like rub your lips together but I don't know it works for me. Maybe it's because I have really full lips I don't know but it works for me and it all looks like one colour that's the main thing. I have a little beauty spot on my upper lip which I love and I wish it was bigger. Sometimes makeup can hide that so I try and draw it on over the top just to enhance it. I only started filling in my eyebrows recently so I don't really know what to say about the whole thing. I almost didn't include this in this video but since it forms part of the look it just seemed fair to include it. As you can see it's made a huge difference to my eyebrows but it was long and tedious and I don't really have much to say about it. I did pluck a few hairs once I had finished filling them in just to make everything look neater because that could completely destroy a look. When all of that was done I decided to add some shine to my cheekbones just to break down the whole matte effect that I had. Smiling helps you find your cheekbones a lot easier and so here I am smiling at myself as I add some shine. The day before I made this video I had been to the hairdressers to get a trim. After they trimmed my hair they styled it in such a way that they curled the ends with a straightening iron. I don't do this style at home so I really can't explain anything else to you about it. But I love how this hairstyle completely added that last detail that this look needed. Last but not least, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to subscribe, comment, like or thumbs up and share.